guys welcome back to my channel it's nanaya chesisi once again if you're new to my channel hi i'm nanaya of nanaya chesis welcome to my little corner of the internet if you are old and you're returning hey how are you doing <laughs> but seriously though thank you for coming back once again and for joining me and joining me on my little journey as we explore you know growing up together and living a luxury life on a budget honey <laughs> okay so for 2021 most of us at least for me anyway i know i want to elevate i want to i want to be more you know self-developed i want to be a high value woman because i aspire to have everything around me be high value that means a high having high value friendships having high value relationships being a high value person it all starts from within and then it radiates outside okay so one of the things that i wanted to discuss with you guys is things you can do alone to spend time with yourself even when you're single and we don't have a lot of things going for ourselves we tend to seek out certain kind of company which is not necessarily pristine or ideal or in line with the brand we are trying to build or with our personal brand and then a few weeks down the line we are asking ourselves one question why bro why why is this why 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 are we here why are we back in the same cycles talking to the same people that we swore we were leaving 2020 don't be that girl okay <laughs> okay so let's just get right into the video so we're going to be discussing a few things you can do alone yes yes trust me i know because i've <laughs> I've done most of these things <laughs> you have to find something to keep yourself occupied okay the first thing you can do is go out for a walk uh, i know it can be very very intimidating to go out for a walk on your own but trust me it helps it also helps if you feel like it's going to be too intimidating for you sure go ahead take your phone along take an earpiece along listen to music while you do it it's a it's a step and then with time you're able to build a confidence in the point where you don't need to actually have your phone in hand um watching it or texting or something you can literally just walk through town and then you see some people you make an eye contact because of you know that which shall not be named we are always supposed to go out in our face masks so all we are left is our eyes and this is the perfect time to practice your smile so it might not necessarily mean go and befriend that person on the spot or flirt to the person or whatever no it's helping you practice so that when finally you'll be able to take off these masks you already have the eyes down you don't have to do too much with your face just... okay so the next you can do is to paint your nails and yes i did this today so today my nose is looking very very raggedy if i went to wash my hair i decided that i have a couple of stick ones lying around doing nothing gathering dust let me just pop them on so these notes that you are seeing i i did them myself today this is also very very helpful in quarantine if you're in quarantine get some stick on nose slash press on nose and get your nose done okay so the next thing you can try doing is try cooking something try cooking or baking i used to do this a lot back in school because i had a lot of time on my hands because it was a good way to save money so i used to cook a lot now not so much but hey that's what we're talking about here <laughs> You can try to learn a new dish you can find a recipe pinterest has amazing recipes that you can try just google a very nice recipe give it a try you never know sharpen those skills they might come in handy later on or bake yourself something if you love if you're like me you're a fancy woman you know you already know we love the cakes we like the crepes we like the pancakes we like the waffles get baking do something <laughs> It's gonna come in handy later on and make you an amazing hostess as well. So, another tip for the girls. Okay, so another thing that you can do is that you can read a book or go to a bookstore. If you have a bookstore in your neighborhood, like I said, another time to mingle. If you don't want to mingle, you just want to be introverted, which I sometimes can be sometimes. So, if you see me and then I will smile at you and all that, but like I don't actively try to interact so don't take it first now I'm, I'm my zone i'm logged in i'm gone <laughs> i am an ambivert sometimes well 
all the time. <laughs> there are times when I'm like this, where you see, and when you meet me like this, trust me, it's a turn up baby. Like I'm, I'm on the go. I'm like, yes, hi, 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 hi to everybody. But when I'm in my introvert zone, so it's like I meet and I'm like, hi. And I'm shy and that's it like that's the most you get out of me hi <laughs> and then I just retreat in my little corner and I'm like on my phone or if I'm supposed to be doing something I get that thing done and then I'm out you never know you're going to meet but for the most part um for the sake of people experiencing me and also because most of the time I'm on a sugar high so <laughs> You normally meet me like this. I'm like, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you've ever experienced this, just comment down below. Okay, so that's another thing you could do. Read a book. The book that I'm currently loving is The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. If you've been following me on Instagram and on YouTube even, I think I've mentioned it before. I love Robert Greene's books. I need to say. You can also take a long bath. A long, luxurious bath. You know, if you have a bathtub in your apartment or your house, this is a great time to get back. If you don't have a bathtub too, I have an alternative. So if you have a shower, what you could do is that you light some scented candles, set it all up, get some bath oils, get some bath lotion, everything, and then give yourself that luxurious body scrub. Okay, so you first shave your entire body down. I did that today. My skin is looking so smooth and I feel so smooth. It's like, Mwah! just kiss. <laughs> You give yourself a shave down, you give yourself a very good body scrub, you take a shower, then right after the shower, you lather that scented oil all over your body. Mm, that glow you're seeing comes from within, honey. I'm sure within. <laughs> okay, another thing you could do, another thing you could do is write in your journal i personally love journaling i love writing because it helps me write on my goals write on my dreams write on my aspirations things i've already done it helps me think through my feelings properly and you know write it down process it properly without always making certain rush decisions as somebody who can be a bit too spontaneous at times it doesn't always go as flat. <laughs> so it's good to just write down certain things. It helps. It helps to structure my thoughts. So you can also try that as well. Journal. Trust me, when you journal certain things that you're feeling now, and then months later, years later, you go back and you're like, I've grown so much. Like, I have grown so much. I have become a better person than I was before. And if you've not become a better person than you were before, you know that something went wrong somewhere, so you better go and fix that okay go and fix that <laughs> okay. the next thing you can do is to watch your favorite shows okay so currently the show that i'm enjoying well i'm done watching it but i'm gonna watch all over again is bridgerton yes honey is the opulence for me is the regency for me is the outfits for me is the makeup the jewels the hair semi looks the queen lady danbury honey <laughs> as you can see i'm channeling my own lady you know i want i'm channeling my own budget into the screens if you can't see like hello this is melanin monroe in the flesh hi <laughs> Yes, honey. So that's something that you should, you should catch up on your favorite um, shows. I also love watching Dynasty. Mwah. Another one that you should watch out for. I just love anything that is like very, you know, excessive. <laughs> okay, it's watch an inspiring TED Talk. So this is for those of you who love documentaries, you love um, these kind of seminars and stuff like that. If you're not really much into drama shows and stuff like that. You could watch a TED talk. It could be a TED talk about it, anything at all. It could be something inspiring, something motivational, something educative, something random. Just click, you can search up a billion of them for free on YouTube and just watch them. Okay, okay. Is that you could meditate? Now, meditation. I have to be honest with you. When it comes to meditation and me. I have a very weird relationship with meditation because 
my mind wanders a lot i have yet even sometimes when i'm praying that's why so i have to write down my prayers so that i can keep track of what i'm praying about because my mind just i can be a bit of a scatter brain even sort of here on youtube i'm talking about one thing and then i go off on the tangent and i forget what i was talking about I, it's just it's a mess honey that's why it's also always been meditating it helps to center you and then gather your thoughts a bit speaking of which i should do it more often because honey your girl needs help <laughs> another thing you can also do is to organize your closet or your room i do this sometimes i can can be a bit messy sometimes not dirty just messy like i will pick something up and i wouldn't put it back while i picked it up but then if you come visit me you do that i'm going to be upset with you that why why are you messing up my room like put it back where you found it how how hard is it for you <laughs> but i do it myself i think i do it myself and i'm I go easy on myself because I feel like I'm the same person going to clean it up and then have to put things back in order. But if you can't visit me, I have to clean it up to you and I don't like doing that. So maybe that's why. <laughs> but yeah, you could tidy up your room, tidy up your closet, rearrange your stuff, color code everything. Yeah, organize your room or your closet. And I think it is you get a massage. I love getting massages. Okay? I love getting massages hand massages, foot massages, back massages, scalp massages, you get the point. Massage. Get a massage. Book one. It's a great experience and it helps you relax and ease out all tension in your bones. Speaking of which, I need to go get one soon because work has been quite stressful lately. Yeah. I don't think you could do so you could experiment with your makeup. This is something that I did a lot in quarantine. I was experimenting all the time with different colors, with different techniques and stuff like that. Even today's makeup that I did is a technique that I tried in quarantine and then now has become like a part of my makeup routine. I am sold on it. So yeah, it can, it can help you find your personal style, like when it comes to makeup, what kind of makeup looks look great on you and stuff like that. Yeah, you can experiment with your makeup. You could try a new workout class um <laughs> this is pretty my self-explanation and i don't want to dwell on it because it means i'm calling myself out because i'm supposed to start working out but i have it so <laughs> but yeah you can try a new workout class it's good for your body so moving on <laughs> i don't think you could do that you could explore a neighborhood um especially if you're you're new in your neighborhood like I am. Quite recently, I found a couple of spots that I did not know before because I am a very boring person. I close from work, I come home. That's it. That That is the end. I go to work, I close, I come home. Go to work, close, come home. On the weekends, go and visit my mom. You pretty much get the gist. I'm boring. So <laughs> quite um, recently, I've been forced to, you know, Move around a bit, find a couple of places where I can find certain things, and it has proven quite helpful. So you could explore your neighborhood. I don't think you do just unplug, you know, just put your phone away, put everything away, and just maybe not put your phone away entirely. <laughs> you can play music and then just chill in your room. I do that all the time. My friends sometimes wonder why I'm um, what I'm doing. Like I can go ghost. At first, I didn't like spending time with myself, but now, baby girl, name the time and place, and I'm gone. <laughs> okay, something you could also do is watch a funny YouTube or an amazing YouTube video like mine. Okay, come and watch YouTube video. Come and watch my videos. It will teach you about how to grow your hair long, strong, and healthy. How to slay on a budget, look good, elevate all the time, honey. Yeah, watch a YouTube video. I don't think you do is apply a face mask. You could create your own or you could get a store bought brand to try. So go and do that. Go and get that done. Apply a face mask. It's good for your skin. One trick that I can show you with face masks is that whenever I'm putting a face mask on, I put some underneath my pits and also on my neck. So that we have a consistent color story going on here. 
okay if it's good for my face it's good for other places too <laughs> you could also just write a handwritten letter to your loved one to your friend to your future self to your past self another thing you can also do when you're alone is to make a facial or body scrub this is very very easy to do speaking of which be sure to stay tuned i'm going to be making a video showing you guys my various face scrubs and body scrubs that i love personally love using for you know brightening my skin tightening up getting rid of some of my stretch marks and my problem areas all that good stuff keep giving this young glowy skin giving you looks all the time don't you want to don't you want to know <laughs> free of charge by the way so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video when it does come out okay <laughs> oh another thing you can also do is to facetime someone or video call someone this is something i also personally love doing sometimes when i'm bored i literally put on my makeup get my hair going take a bunch of pictures so that i can post on instagram later on and also just on whatsapp because hey baby girl i like to look cute all the time okay <laughs> and then after i'm done because i don't want to waste the makeup i call a couple of my friends and i video call with them and then they always ask me why are you going i'm like i'm not going anywhere i literally have nowhere to go they're like you're all done i'm like yeah because the queen is in the house speaking of queens who has been watching the bachelor lady there's this girl queen who calls herself queen victoria Ugh. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like more videos like this one. And I'll try to make more content like this coming. Up. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an upload from me. Okay? Subscribe. Okay? And like promised, I am going to be showing you guys how I make some of my body scraps. I mean, the body scraps. <laughs> So be sure to stay tuned so that you don't miss an upload. Turn on the bell notification so that when I do upload, you don't miss it. Just letting you know. Okay, turn it on. Like right now, I'm waiting for you. Subscribe, turn it on. What are you waiting for? You both know you love me. Let's make this very easy. Okay. <laughs> As always, it's Nanaya Chesses, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>